Hello there, pals! It is Squidgy here. Welcome to another episode of Boundless, except this one's a little bit different. Just a tiny little bit different. We are currently in the test worlds for the new beta. So, basically, you'll notice I haven't uploaded any Boundless episodes in, like, ages, like, heaps of time. Uh, that's because I've been waiting for this to come out. This is the C++ beta. Uh, basically... The game is being converted to a different programming language, which is C++, and so it's been uh, taking absolutely ages for the devs to uh, like basically transition it. And this is the start of it. I mean, this is so still super buggy, uh, but it's the start of basically what Boundless is going to become. It's fantastic. It's great. It's exciting. Um, already walking around, you'll notice there's some like new textures, texture replacements, all sorts of things. Uh, and we'll talk about them in a second. Uh, what I thought I would talk about first is just how to get into this beta. If you have the game and you're looking to get into the beta, uh, it's pretty easy. Basically, what you're going to want to do is visit the forums. I'll leave a link to the forum post in the description below. There's a little password that you go into. On Windows, what you're going to go is you're going to go into Steam. Maybe I can show you here. So, what you're going to want to do is you want to go into Steam and you are going to right click on Boundless. You're going to go Properties. You're going to go Betas. You're going to enter the code in here. It'll check the code and it'll say C unlocked or something. And then you just select C in your select the beta part. And when you come to play it, it'll say. Um, play Boundless, play World Builder, or play a World Builder if you've got the higher up version of Boundless, or play C++ version. That's what you're going to want to do. So, it's not too hard. Oops, let me just get back into full screen. It's pretty easy to get into it, and it makes the world of a difference. If you weren't playing Boundless uh, for, for reasons because of, say, uh, the performance you were getting on Boundless, like it wasn't greatly optimized before... Let me just tell you, wow, the difference this makes. You'll remember I've talked about it in previous episodes of my FPS. I've been, you know, usually get around uh, 30, if I'm lucky, with things on medium to high. Everything is on the highest can possibly go in this beta, and I'm getting 50 frames per second, 57, it skips around. Uh, what I've been testing this in the past previous days, it's been 60, which is awesome. So already you can see that converting the game to C++ is doing wonders for the game's... Um, I guess, playability. So yeah, so, um, I thought I might come in this world because Havoc's currently online. As you can see in my top left corner, you can say join two players. That's with the, uh, the, 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 the stuff open. You press the full stop button to get all that stuff open, but I'll get rid of it for now. So it's not annoying you. Um, but yeah, so Havoc's online, so I thought maybe we might bump into him. Uh, right now there is currently, I'll show you, there's only four test worlds on. When it loads, there's only four test loads, two European ones, two US ones. I'm on the US one at the moment. Um, but already you'll notice these leaves are very different. Now, I've posted in the forums about these. I'm not the biggest fan of how waxy they look. Um, not if they're going to be the main kind of tree. Like, it's alright if they were rare, but because it's, like, the main kind of tree, it just looks a bit plasticky, a bit fake. I don't know, but you'll see if we come up here... There is new types of trees, and leaves, and all sorts, and that's exciting in itself, so let's run up here, blah 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 blah, so you'll see we've got like this autumn coloured tree that has these kind of leaves, which is pretty cool, you'll see we've got like a pine tree, um, yeah, I'm not sure what I think about this so far, it, it feels a bit too straight, for me a bit too, um, I don't know what the word is, but yeah, anyways, I love the new leaves, I love these leaves, Heaps so much. Um, there is other ones as well, I think. Are they different to the ones? I don't know. Um, you'll see the old wood here, but a lot of the old textures have been replaced. And I don't know whether this is permanent or not. I sincerely hope it's not. Uh, because whilst I do like the new textures, they kind of feel a bit out of place. Ignore the missing blocks still. Like I said, beta. This beta is a bit buggy, a little bit more buggy, but... Um, here's the new rock face, and, I don't know, to me, it, it it's not as good as the old one. I like it if it was, again, a bit more rare, like if it was, like, under caves or only on the top of, top of mountains. Um, here's a new type of rock as well. I love the other types of rocks, by the way. I love these. These are so cool. Uh, you've got these ones as well. And I'll teleport to a world where people have actually started building with these new blocks. Here's the new gravel, which is awesome. Um... Yeah, so I'll definitely teleport to some... Oh, we just had a bit of a 
rubber band situation there. Um, so you guys can see the kind of... Oh, is that a new trunk that I haven't seen? Can I, how can I get rid of these? Have I got my axe? My trusty axe. Get rid of the ice that's there. Ice has got a new texture, I think, which looks awesome. Let's have a look, see if this is a new trunk. Because I don't think I've seen this one. Looks like it. Cool. Okay, so we found a new trunk. Awesome. I, I literally, I've been playing this for a couple of hours and I've never seen that trunk before. So, uh, let's have a look at what this one. Lustrous trunk. Okay. So this is the one that makes the new planks. I'll show you the new planks. In a, oh, that's pretty cool, actually. I do like that quite a lot. Um, yeah, you've got new planks. So we've got the... Where's my lustrous? They're in there already. So we've got this kind of stone, which is very, very cool. You've got this kind of stone, which is very cool. Like That's like bricky kind of... Yeah, it, it basically you can refine the stone into this, by the way. So you collect the stone, then you refine it into this. You don't just find this naturally. Uh, we've got these wooden planks. People were asking for planks in Boundless for absolutely ages, so... They now exist, so everyone will be happy. A um, little bit too cartoony, I feel, um, personally. I think it's like because they're too contrasty compared to the rest of the world. I don't know, something about them. I'm not a biggest fan, but I like the idea of planks, and I feel like they're almost there. Um, who, if they change or not, I, who knows. But that's just, just putting my personal opinions out there. Um, the, like I said, the rest of the textures I do love, so... Whoever, I think it was Jess that's been working on the textures. They're awesome. So, well done, Jess. Uh, let's run down here. Jess is one of the developers, by the way. Yeah. Just thought I'd put that out there. I'm just speaking to some random called Jess. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's new dirt type as well. Like the new dirt, sorry, um, texture. You'll see it's got like these little stones that pop up on it. And I like it. I love the new dirt texture. It just, those stone popping up happen too often. And sometimes you'll come across like multiple blocks with that stone thing in the same spot. It just looks too well placed, I guess. Um, this might be sand that I'm stepping on there. This is sand, I think. Um, okay. So we haven't bumped into Havoc, unfortunately. But I will go to one of the European... Ooh, what's that on top? Is that like... Let's go journey up top. It looks like some different stuff I have not seen yet. Okay. Um, oh, of course, the devs could have hidden all sorts of wonders in this beta. Like, who knows? Um, where's my sim? Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm not a biggest fan of the new glass texture either. It looks a little bit flat to me. Um, but I'm probably being just a little bit too picky anyway. I'm a very picky person. All right, let's run up this way. Let's see if we can get up to whatever's on top there. It might be like a icy, snowy biome. Let's go have a look. Uh, Gleam looks like it's had a little bit of a texture update. I'll see if I can run into some later for you. Uh, which is pretty... Yeah, meh. It probably didn't need it, but... If it, if it even has, maybe it just looks different to me. I don't know. The smooth normals haven't been turned on, so... Um, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't look like it. So, things don't look as good as they will do. There's still heaps of stuff to be added to this beta, by the way, like clouds. We still haven't had clouds in the game for a few months now. Uh, but they have been working on some new cloud types for us. Is this going to be safe? Okay, how do I get up there? Let's get our grappling hook. Where is it? Yeah, cool. Let's go have a look at what's new up here. So this is the new ice. Cool. I think it's new anyway. I mean, all this stuff, I could be wrong, like... It's not very often I used ice in the game, so I could be very, very wrong, but it looks like a new ice texture, and I like it. I do very much like it. Cool. Alright, so, let's jump up here. Let's go to the top of the world. And also, I think these worlds are supposed to loop now, so if you walk in one direction for, let's say, four kilometers, you'll get back to the same place you were. Almost like a real world. I think that's what they've done. I'm not sure. There's so many changes coming. It's going to be awesome. Uh, the other thing is no w, double tap W to run anymore. You hold control, but I've altered it to shift. It just feels more comfortable. In my hands. Okay. I don't think there's much more new stuff. I don't think. What's this? Uh, I have another missing texture. Um, so I'm going to go teleport to the uh, one of the European worlds so we can have a look at some stuff that people have built. I think it was Euro 1. Let's go have a look at Euro 1 first. 
Um, I've been playing a little bit of Boundless with the Steam Controller recently. I got the Steam Controller. It's not ideal. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard right now, just because I have, couldn't be bullied finding my Steam Controller. I haven't used it for like a month. Um, but Boundless works very well with the Steam Controller. Ah! Okay, I thought it was going to fall there. It didn't. Um, uh, Boundless works very well with the Steam Controller, and it's kind of cool, so. What I do love is new grass types, so you've got, um, in the old, well, the normal version of Boundless, you couldn't combine two different grass types or colors in one world in the world builder. Now you can apparently. And I'll be making a video probably on the new world builder when that comes out as well. Um, I miss using the world builder. It would have been good for these worlds. They're all very similar as you can tell. Like they've all got the same leaf colors and grass colors and stuff. I'm assuming that they're just variations on the same world builder config file. Um, which is a shame, but, uh, whatever, it's just a test, like, as I said, things are gonna get better, things are improving, like, each day there's been an update on this beta since it came out a couple of days ago now, which is great. So, teleport to capital, let's see if there's buildings around here. So, whoops, just fell a little bit. So, yeah, you can see that new, um, stone type can actually be sloped in, instead and stuff, which I'm not sure if I, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks wood, it looks look, looks like wood a little bit when it's kind of stared like that, but um, it's very cool, I love it. Okay, let's run this way, so someone's got a beacon already here, over here. Oh, we've got our first look at the new type of portals, I forgot about them. So, the new portals, it's a shame that all this stuff's built around, because you can actually start to see, they kind of have this cool effect around the edges of them, which is so cool. Portals, by the way, if you've never really... If you've never seen them in Boundless before, like if you've only been watching my episodes for the past couple of episodes or anything like that, uh, portals are uh, instant transitions into a new world. So, we just went from one server to another instantaneously like that. How cool is that? Oh, it looks like different... Is that wood? Or is that stone? Ooh. Is that different type colored gravel? Maybe there is different colors. Looks like a different... Just double check this is gravel. Uh, yeah, this is gravel. Okay, so there are different colors. My bad. I apologize for saying that there wasn't different colors in this beta because there totally is. Okay, let's have a look. Sounds like like some noises haven't made it in yet. Prop healing base. Oh, let's heal. So yeah, some noises haven't made it in yet. Like that door opening didn't come in there. Let's go up the stairs a little bit. See what whose beacon are we in? I'm not sure whose beacon we're in, but we're in someone's beacon. And yeah, cool. All right. So someone's built this house. Maybe that was Stretchius's beacon? Yeah, it might have been Stretchius's. Whoa! Now this is something I haven't seen before. This is the new lamps. I liked the old lamps. Aww. I heard about these new ones, but I really liked the old ones. That's a shame. Again, looks a bit flat. I don't know if it's just missing its 3D texture stuff or, or, or something, but... Looks a little bit flat. I do miss the old lamps already. Hopefully, some of the old textures can be used in alternate things, like an alternate type of lamp that can be built, because it'd be shame to see them go to waste. Really would, because they were cool. They definitely seem more alien-like, so on different worlds you get the alien type lamps, on a more civilized world you get these types of lamps. Um, it's a shame if they don't do something like that. Someone's placed a beacon there. Cool, you can see the new wood type. See, it looks a little bit cartoony when you see it like that. Like, you've got this nice, kind of plan looking kind of stuff, and then all of a sudden, like, cartoony wood um, and stone. So, yeah. I don't know. Not my fave, but... Oh, well. Um, I don't know if we're in the capital right now. Let's teleport to the capital. We might have been. Ooh, okay. Apparently, this is the capital. There's a house over here. Let's go have a look at this house. Oh, no one's really done anything with it. Cool. <laughs> Alright, I might leave it there. I think I've covered everything. You've seen the new grass types. Oh, you can see, like, the new little weeds and stuff as well. Uh, I think I've covered most of it. Uh, as this update gains more features and things like that, I'll be making videos. Uh, it is a little bit busy for me at the moment. I'm currently uh, in my second year of my Master's for of Teaching, and... Uh, all the essays are due in the next couple of weeks, and I'm also on placement for the next four weeks. So, look, I honestly want to make so many more videos on Boundless, so it really depends on... Ooh, another kind of weed type. Is that the same one as before, just a light colour? 
Who knows? Anyway, yeah, so, um, as soon as all my hectic life is over and there's a little bit of a break, I'll be making heaps more. Any massive changes and updates in Boundless, I will be making videos for. Just like this, just short, little silly, crappy, you know, me talking lots with a sore throat kind of. Ow, stop falling. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Cool. Alright, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this new update. Uh, come and join me in it. I'll be playing it a little bit more as features get added, like I said before. So come join me and we'll hang out and play. And I know there's new animals being added as well, but the rumor is that you can only see the new animals when there's devs online. So, uh oh, Spitter's gonna spit at me. Let's run away. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyway, cool. Thank you for watching. My name is Squidgy. I'll see you later. Bye. Boom.